Hi guys, so I have a bunch of CSV files as you can see in an XLX and uh, the format it's in this format so here you have the dates this uh, there is eight rows every time before the actual data coming on this is actually as you can say metadata so what I want to do is stack a lot of these files. This is one file. This is one hour because it takes a measurements every two minutes. So what I want to do is stack a lot of them. Here you can see we have 10th of June, and then 11th of June and 12th of June. So what I want to do is to combine all of those. But if I stack them on top of each other, I cannot uh, deal with them in an easy way. So what I want to do is to transpose them or to shift them by 90 degrees leftwise and take them into this form. So all the rows become columns. And they are in this format. And then as you can see, we can deal with the data much easier. And then after we have transposed each CSV file, what I want to do is to combine them combine the, all the transport CSV files and finally have a single CSV file for all of them. So, as you can see, I have my files here. I was searching for this, how to do in Power Query, but I couldn't find an easy way. So, what I did was go to Stack Overflow, ask and then a very kind man <laughs> gave me the answer here. As you see, it's cold, so in the beginning it bothered me a little bit, but in the end it was fine. So what I, we do is go to data, new query, from file, from folder, and we go and specify the folder where we are getting the CSV files from. Okay, yes, 2016, zero, zero. Okay, press OK. We see here the files that we are in the folder. We press Edit. So here you can see we have all these files loaded from the folder. What you want to do is go to the Advanced Editor. Highlight this section only. Control-V, paste the code we found from Stack Overflow. And what you want to do is just take this away, which is the, just the di directory, and just paste yours. Or just erase this as well, and you're good to go. In my, in my case, I also had to change this into capital CSVs, because the file somehow were saved in capital but it's working just fine just <laughs> okay comma expected okay this is why I hate programming uh, yes I forgot a comma here I hope now it works yes and this this is why I love Excel queries and now as you can see we got the end result here so this is this is the one file, six o'clock, and then after the the empty line here, empty row, you can see the seven o'clock, the second file. So as you as you can see, what it did, let's go through the code actually. What we did is go to the source, we specified which folder we wanted to download it from. We filtered the rows. Based on CSVs, this is what it actually done. So if you can see, when I go to the filtered rows, you can see a small filter come here. This is what happened. This is the second step. The third step is remove the other columns besides the content and the name. And then this invert function happened, which you can read in the code. I don't really understand it, but it's actually the transposition that happens. I press here, we can see that 
the table that is loaded is in uh, in a transposed format. Can we see more? Okay, but it's this is where the transposition happens. Here you have the content as binary, as a file, and then after this line here is where the transposition happens. Yeah, and then max columns. I don't know what that is. 2056. That's uh, the amount of columns that exists. This is a huge file. Expand content. The content expanded. As you can see, this is the first file. The headers are the automated one, column one, column two. And as we can see, here the first file ends and the second file starts. So this is the second CSV file, and it still had the headers. So what what is done here automatically? It said promote headers. So the first line here, first row becomes headers of the columns, and they are still here and the filtered rows there is a filter that happened for the date see we had this date for the month January of 2016 and we just took off the date so all the files that had the, the header date now it's removed and this is how you make the query transpose files and you know what you can just right click here and say replace empty or remove empty I guess it's in the filter I don't know why these databases they don't like many columns they can take so many rows but not columns okay so close and load two uh, let's only create a connection for now and load and that's it thank you very much